My name is Shay Alves, and I used to be the assistant manager for the Motorview and Grandview Drive-In down in Twin Falls, Idaho. I think the main reason that drive-ins aren't around anymore, definitely because of cost. The conversion from film over to digital really wiped out the majority of them from what I can tell. Um, digital projectors are very expensive. And with only being a seasonal theater, because it is outdoor, most drive-ins can't bring in the amount of money that they need to support to bring in that digital projector. Thankfully, some have, but I know smaller towns definitely have suffered. Um, as long as if the movie, th if they're not making the movies in digital, then the smaller towns generally can't get the bigger movies to play at the drive-in. The thing that makes the drive-in special for me definitely is it's a family kind of thing. You go there when you're a kid, and then as you get older, you kind of go there as like a teenager on dates, and then even more so when you get older, you take your kids with you. It's just a very family-oriented thing. You're all squished into a car, and you're not having to deal with somebody else, thankfully, to tell them to get off their phone or shush it. So it's just more personal, I think. So I think my favorite part about for working for the drive-in in general definitely was like threading up the movies and learning how to like build them up and learning more about them. Every projector is different, every platter, roller, and all that's different. So you have to be specialized and trained how to thread up the projector. And it felt pretty cool knowing that, you know, people were watching the movie because of me. I've seen like through social media and stuff like that, people are like, bring back the drive-ins and all this stuff. And then we're definitely trying to promote bringing them back. But unfortunately, like I said earlier, because of the digital conversion, a lot of them have already closed their doors. So I haven't heard about any new ones popping up, but that's definitely a possibility. That'd be awesome if that were to happen. I definitely appreciate though that people are starting to notice how much they value the drive-ins and are trying to put forth like the effort and really make aware that we want to save them and we want them to stay here. So in 2013 for the Honda Save the Drive-In Don't Let Them Go Dark contest, we actually did that for mostly the Motor View. Um, so down in Twin Falls, we had the Motor View and the Grand View Drive-In. Motor View can hold a lot more and it's just built a little bit better. And we knew that trying to split votes between two different drive-ins just wasn't gonna be beneficial for our smaller town. And we decided, obviously, we want the bigger one that can hold more people, more people come in, so you wanna do that. We unsuccessfully didn't do it though. We got a lot of publicity for it, lots of like Facebook posts and people were coming in. We sent out flyers, it was posted everywhere all over the drive-in. We got a couple of radio announcements and people were being really supportive. They realized like just how much they valued us and I think that made us feel really appreciative as like a company, as an employee, having people come in saying, we don't want you guys to go, we want you to stay. Um, th thankfully they were able to save those eight drive-ins and I'm glad that those ones got to stay open and unfortunately ours didn't. <laughs> The best way to support a drive-in is by going to a drive-in. <laughs> so I know like a lot of the time drive-ins don't open new movies, but every now and then they will. And honestly, if you want to go watch a new movie, it is generally cheaper to go to a drive-in. They're not going to charge that full price. And you know, if you sneak in some snacks, they're not going to take them away from you either. And even then, like some older movies, they'll play movies that have been out for a couple weeks. Go to the drive-in then. Honestly, just get the word out about them. You guys want them around. I want them around. And by not going to them, it's just hurting them.